Learning Pearl is a great book, but it lacks some of the key programming algorithms you need to be successful. And one of the key algorithms you need to know is the table lookup. So I'm going to show you how to code that in Perl. Hang on. Here we go with our table lookup. Now, in this case, I'm creating two arrays right within the code of my Perl script. And when we do this, we would call these arrays hard-coded. Now, in practice, you only want to hard-code arrays when they're rather stable, like the names of the months. But I haven't shown you how to input load arrays yet. That's our next podcast. So I have the array number. This is my part numbers, and they range from 100 to 110. Then I have my array description, which I've abbreviated to DESC. And that ranges from Microsoft OS X 10.6 Snow Leopard all the way down to Logic Studio. There are 11 items in each of these arrays, and they're sequenced so that they correspond to one another. So the first part number, part number 100, refers to Snow Leopard, and 101 refers to Microsoft Office for Mac, and part number 110 corresponds to Logic Studio. The next thing that I do is just simply print out my table of arrays. Part numbers on the left, descriptions on the right. Now that's not entirely necessary, but it's going to help illustrate what we're doing during our test run. The next task is to ask our user what part number they're looking for. And so I display this prompt, enter a part number, and specify a valid range 100 to 110. Okay? The next line there accepts input from the keyboard through use of the standard in, assigns it to arg, which is my scalar variable for my search argument. And then we chomp off the carriage return at the end. Nothing new there. I then set a scalar variable called found to null. Quote, quote. Nothing in it. Now found, I'm going to use as a switch. I'm going to turn it on or to Y when we have a match. So I come down into my search and I say for each zero up to the number of items in the array number. So I'm looking at each one. Now within that for each loop I look at my search argument and determine if it's equal to the corresponding part number. So if I'm at zero, I'm using the undefined vari variable to represent zero. If I'm at five in my for each counter, then the undefined variable will be five. Now, I may or may not have a match. They may not be equal. If they are equal, Then we'll do this. We will set found equal to Y and we'll print out our part number and the description. Now, we don't do anything when we don't have a match except go back up and keep looking at the part number array until we've 
exhausted all of the possibilities. Now, when I come out of that loop, I come down to this if statement. If found equals no, print part number whatever the value of argument is, was not found. And that's it. So here we are at my terminal window and we're all set to do our test run of our lookup script. So let's do it. There is my table. I have my array of part numbers 100 through 110 and their corresponding part descriptions. Now, let's say that I want to find a part number 107. Now visually take a look down to 107 and to the right is aperture 3. It found it. Let's try it again. This time let's tell it we want part number 999 which is not in our list. So it tells us part number 999 is not found. Whenever we enter a part number that is in our list, we will get the corresponding part description. 105 will be QuickBooks. But if that part number is not in the list, we will get the response, not found. That's what you want with a table lookup.